Hello, I'm Becky and I'm here to show you the new Teddy Bears templates from Threaders by Crafters Companion. We've got them just here. You can see the amazing animals that you can make here. So there are all sorts of different animals, um, mainly teddy bears, but by changing the ears, you can really make these look so different. Once you take your templates out of the box, this is what you're going to see. So you've got your templates here and you'll see that these are cut um, with little lines, little grooves, in order for you to use your heat erasable pen to mark out where you need to put your, your templates. Or you could of course use our mark away spray over the top of anything. And you'll notice on here, you've got lines. These indicate the grain of the fabric, so how the fabric is looking. So you need to keep things straight when you're cutting them. So you don't want anything on a curve unless it actually shows you're going to be cutting them on a curve. For example, where the arms are, because the arms are a curve and they're sort of shaped, you want your fabric to be running in this angle, even though the shape is like so. Everything is explained inside the booklet. So if you open it up, you'll be able to see the details about how to draw around the templates and whether you need to flip the templates over to the other side if you're going to be cutting on a different sort of shape. Um, it'll also tell you how many of each you need to cut out, whether you need to cut one or two out of the outer fabric and whether you need to cut any out of any lining. And it will show you directions of exactly how to put everything together and make it, making it very, very easy for you to follow. So here I've cut out two pieces of the arms of the teddy bear and I've sewn around the edge um, quite carefully. You've got curves here um, using a two, inch, a two millimeter seam allowance. Um, when you start sewing around, you just need to leave a little gap um, at the rear of the um, teddy bear's arm and that's in order for it to be turned out. What we've done here is we've snipped around the little corners with a pair of scissors and this allows us to make sure that the corners, the curves of the teddy bear um, fold nice and flat. So we're going to continue to just trim around the edge. You can of course trim around here, not just doing these little clips into the curves if that's what you want to do. And then once you've done that, you'll need to turn it the right way round and then stuff it. So this is what it would look like when it's been turned around the right way. So you can see here, we've got this little opening gap. And this is where we're going to stuff some of our, um, our, our teddy bears insides. So you can use any kind of stuffing that you might have. Um, you might have um, stuffing that you use for um, teddy bears, which is, um, you know, or, or uh, animals, or you might be using some wadding, or even, and you can use little pieces of um, offcuts of fabric. But we're using proper um, toy stuffing here. And so I'm just going to be stuffing them in with my finger. And we want to make sure that these are done quite firmly. So when you're stuffing these, you might want to use a chopstick um, or a pen just to push all of the wadding, all of the padding deep inside of the little teddy bear's arm. And once you've finished it, it will look like this, nice and plump. Don't make them too, um, too full and too hard because you want them to be nice and cuddly. And then once you finish that, you will then stitch around and hold, put this gap filled in. So your teddy bear arm will look like this. So this is the top of the arm and I've made that a little bit flatter because when we attach it to the body it's a little bit easier when it goes through um, the little button where you've got the joint and a little bit fatter down here by the arm. The next stage we're going to do is looking at the teddy bear's legs. So the teddy bear's legs work in a very similar way. So I've cut these out and I've stitched around this side, which is the back of the leg. I've left a gap here and then I've stitched around here as well. And this, this is the foot. But you're not going to stitch this part of the bottom of the foot because you want um, that to have an extra little piece to so make a little flat foot for the teddy bear to stand on. Um, so what you would do here is would trim or cut around the corners again, just as we did with the teddy bear's arm. So if I snip these around, you want to be careful that you don't snip right to the stitching. You just want to snip around the edge like so. And then once you've done that, you're going to get the teddy bear's foot. So this is what this looks like. And we're going to place that in here. So we would fold this in half. 
So you get a little point here, a little fold here, and then we'll hold the teddy bear's leg and we would attach that just here. And then you go all the way around the edge, attaching the foot to the leg. You'll need to pin this, and this is where your uh, quilting clips are really useful. So you can just clamp these together, and then that will hold the teddy bear's arms, or teddy bear's feet, together, like so. And then you'll stitch around the edge, again using your two and a half, I'm sorry, two millimeter sewing allowance around the edge until the foot looks like this. So you can see I've stitched all the way around the edge and I've given it a little bit of a trim. And then this is ready to turn out. So we're going to fold um, back from here and then we would turn the teddy bear's foot and leg out. So when you're turning these things, they're quite useful to be, again, using a chopstick or perhaps a, um, a knitting needle, just to sort of poke out all the edges. Do be careful when you're doing this, um, not to sort of puncture the stitching. So you want to be quite careful, quite gentle when you're doing this. Um, but you'll just, we just want to make sure that you, you're sort of pushing your foot, finger against the stitching, just to make sure it's a nice smooth seam and then you'll find that your teddy bear's body and their, or their arms, once you start stuffing them, they'll all have a nice shape to them anyway. So we turn that one round. You can see it's beginning to look more like a foot and a leg now. And then in some of the samples we've got here, we've used fabric, different colour fabric um, for the feet, which you can of course do. When you're making your teddy bear, you might want different um, shades of um, colour or patterned fabric on the feet. So you can see how that now looks, um, that's the proper foot. And then we've stuffed that with um, our um, filling and that's how it would look once it's been stuffed. The teddy bear's face, you have two pieces. This is the front. And this is the back of the, the head of the teddy bear. We're going to stitch along, again with your two millimeter um, stitch length, around this part and also around this part. And these are make the front and the back of the teddy bear's face when we put them together. So we're going to take the, the face first of all, and we're going to turn it the right way around and just pop out this little bit here, which would be where we're going to put, place the nose. And then this is where you're going to be using your, um, your additional bits of your a teddy bear, your little nose and the eyes um, for producing the teddy bear's face. So here I've got, um, this is a, a doll needle. Um, these are available from sort of good haberdashery shops. These are a very, very long needle um, with a, um, that looks you know, like a, a sort of enlarged needle and they're quite strong and they're quite thick. You can get these in three different lengths generally and these are really useful if you're going to be making animals um, or dolls or that sort of thing because it will allow you to push um, through all of the joints in one go. When you see later on how we put the um, arms and legs together, these are really, really useful. Um, you can use um, other things to make a hole in this, but these are really gonna be useful for you to have anyway. Um, so I'm going to find where the point of the nose is. So I think it's around about here, and I'm gonna use this needle to make a little hole. So I'm not making the hole exactly in the stitching, in the seam, I'm just gonna make it to one side. And this is where I'm going to place the teddy bear's nose. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a, a cut here, just to make a little hole. And then I'm going to take my teddy bear nose. They look like this. They're a little shaped, almost like a triangle um, here. And they have a little screw um, in the back. And that, that's what goes inside the, the teddy bear's face and then we've got a little clip that goes on the back of this. So these are safety noses so it does mean that once you put them on they're not going to move so that means when you give this um, little toy to a child they're not going to be able to pull any of these buttons or things out of it. So I'm going to place that nose just there and you can see how that's poked through at the back and I'm going to use one of these little clips to clip onto the back push it down hard and then that will hold the little nose in place just here. 
And then I need to place the eyes um, on the teddy bear's face. So I'm just going to um, measure um, from either side um, about three quarters of an inch and um, from either side of the, um, the, side, the main seam here. So I'm gonna use my heat erasable pen and I'm just gonna place a little mark here and a little mark here. And again, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to just make a little hole here, lift that up, and then I'm going to trim a little couple of stitches away, just a tiny little hole. You don't want to make it too big. And then I'm going to take my eyes. The eyes just look very similar to the nose, but these are completely round. And we're going to place them through the teddy bear's face exactly the same way. So if I just pop that through here, might need to make that hole a little bit bigger. You don't want to rush this part because you do want to make sure that you are, um, you're being accurate and you're not going to rip or damage um, any of the, um, the fabric. And obviously you want to make sure you've got the eyes in exactly the right place. So pop it through like this. And then again, using one of these little um, almost like a washer that goes on the back of here. I'm going to push that in, push it down, and then that secures the eye there. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. There we go. So you can see now your little face of your teddy bear is beginning to take shape. Um, then we need to take the ears. So the ears are cut out um, like this, and we're doing them in exactly the same way. We are sewing with a two millimeter see, um, stitch um, length around the outside. And then we've, as before, we're just trimming, either trimming around the edge here to make it, the, it's this edge a little bit thinner, or we can snip into this so the curves work a little bit better. And then we turn the little ear out this way. So I'm gonna do it with this one. And then we need to sort of sandwich everything together to create the, the teddy bear's head. So you do this in exactly the same way, no matter what animal you're going to be doing. Um, if you're going to be using different, um, di different animal ear shapes, um, but they're all made in exactly the same way. So you can see the ears look like so. So we're then going to take the teddy bear's face and we're going to choose where we're going to pop the ears I found that they look best just in line with the um, eyes, possibly about an inch away from the center seam. And we are going to pin those just in place. And then that one, just so. So now we're ready to attach the back of the teddy bear's um, face, the teddy bear's head. So we're going to be turning this the right way round and just moving around on the seams as so. And we're going to place it right sides together. So we're going to cover up the teddy bear's face with the back of his head. And then we're going to stitch around here until we've finished covering up the teddy bear's head. So I'm going to take it to the machine. Now I'm using, on my sewing machine here, um, I've got a slightly different foot. I've got a little foot that has a, a little edge to it, um, which makes me keep to my quarter of an inch seam allowance. And I found this really, really useful, particularly when you're making dolls or clothes because you're working on very small items. And this just makes sure that you can um, spend a little bit of time um, keeping everything nice and close and still together so you're keeping your seam allowance at exactly a quarter of an inch going all the way around so you can see I'm not rushing with the sewing here I'm doing it very very slowly and I'm just feeding my fabric in I'm getting to a point now where I'm going to be sewing over the ear of the um, sewing machine oh sorry teddy bear um, so that might take it might just need a little bit of um, pushing because it's going through multiple layers of fabric here so I'm just going to continue going around just slowly and just gently feeding it 
don't rush this bit. If you want your teddy bear to look um, correct, you can, um, with a lot of the stuffing that you're going to be doing, um, you can, if you have not sort of sewn it quite correctly, you'll be able to hide quite a few things with the, um, the way that you're going to be um, sort of stuffing it. Um, so you can sort of move the stuffing in different places. But obviously, if you're going to be giving these to a child, the child's going to be giving them lots of hugs, lots of love. Um, so you want to make sure that they, they look correct in, no matter how the stuffing's going to be sitting on them. So I'll just make sure that, that that point here matches up, continuing with my seam allowance. And I'm going to do a couple of little back stitches at the very end here just to secure it all together. So now I'm at the stage where I'm going to turn it round the right way. And again, you can snip around the edges of these, um, these seams as well, where you've got these curves. But if we turn the teddy bear the right way round, his ears are all secured in place. And now he's ready for some stuffing. So again, using the stuffing that you've got for the rest of your teddy bear, um, just by taking a small piece, first of all, and you're going to start by stuffing um, into the nose. And that's the area that you're going to concentrate on, first of all. So you're going to work from the nose all the way around and then finish towards the back of the head. So I'll put a few more bits of stuffing in there so you can see it coming alive. Not literally, but you can see it taking shape. And then obviously it's up to you how much you stuff your teddy bear, but you do want to be, um, you do want to make sure that you've got plenty of stuffing in there. Um, not, not too much so it's hard, but so it's nice and soft. And obviously different stuffing, toy stuffing that you get will have different properties. Some of them will be a lot more um, sort of rigid when you stuff your animal and others will be much softer. So you can see here, I've done that very quickly. Again, I would use um, maybe a um, chopstick or something like that just to sort of push all the padding in and you can see how that little teddy is looking now and we're ready to start working on the body. This is his, his bottom, this bit here. And um, this is the, the rest of his body. So, right, this. So we've sewn across around one side, and then we've sewn over here, and we've left a little gap because we're going to put the rest of the body together. So these are two pieces of um, fabric exactly the same on each side. So this sort of makes the tummy, and this will make the bottom. So we're going to put these together like so. So again, snipping around the edge of your seams or snipping into them is quite useful, but I'm going to turn it around the other way and I'm going to give it a, just a rub with my fingers. And I'm going to do the same with this one. It just helps flatten out the seams a little bit for you, like so. And we're going to put right sides together. And then we would stitch around, so pin across and then stitch around just as we already have done um, with the head. So you stitch all the way around like this and you've already got a little gap um, just inside to make the, um, for, for the stuffing. So if I show you what the teddy bear's body looks like once it's been put together, this is um, how it would look once it's been stuffed. So you can see that this is the, the tummy, um, which we've got across here. And then this bit here is the, the, the bottom. Um, so it's all been stuffed together now and sewn together. So very, very simple to do. And now it's a question of attaching the head to the body. So we're going to effectively pop this head like so um, onto the body. Now this is where you're going to need to do a little bit of hand sewing um, because you can't um, sew it by machine very easily when you're doing it like this. Um, so we're going to just line everything up with our... Um, body and we're just going to pin it and then I'm going to hand stitch it together. So I've taken some thread here so I've got this double thickness with 
um, a nice strong needle. And this is where, what I'm going to be using for securing the body onto the teddy bear's, um, the, the head onto the body. And um, so I'm going to start by stitching um, just deep inside. Now, one thing you do need to make sure is that you, you do this nice and securely because obviously if you're going to be using these teddy bears for um, a gift for somebody they're going to be um, used and loved and you don't want the the body parts coming off so I'm just going to start by stitching here and as I said I'm using a nice thick strong thread and I'm just going to do a couple of little stitches and I'm going to sew this around to secure it So you can see now I've stitched all the way around the body and the head to secure them together. You might want to go over a couple of times if you're going to be giving it to a child that's going to be playing around with it a lot. We'll take that out. And you can see the teddy bear is beginning to become, make its shape. So the next thing we're going to be doing is attaching the arms and the legs to the teddy bear. And we're going to be attaching them. You can see here, we don't have little holes, little gaps to assert them. We're going to be attaching them with buttons. So I'm now going to attach the limbs to the teddy bear. And you can see he's really looking very, very cute now. Um, so we've got two, um, two legs. That we're going to pop down here, one on each side. And then we've got the arms, which are going to go over here. Um, so this is where you're going to be using your little buttons, which look like this. And you're going to use those to attach the limbs to the body. Um, and that will allow a little bit of movement. And um, so for this, I'm using um, some... So thick thread, some strong thread. Um, if you have upholstery thread, that's um, even better. I'm using some ordinary um, polyester um, thread, but it's nice and strong. And I'm using this large needle, which I talked about before, which is um, a doll making a doll making needle. And so I'm going to start with the arms, and I'm just going to place them where I want them to be, and I'm going to pop the button just where I, I need it to go. So I'm going to put everything just there. So first of all, I'm going to start just with my needle and I'm just going to sew a couple of times through here to secure the thread before I put everything together. So I'm just going to do that a couple of times here. So these are a nice, thick, strong needle. And then we just need to going to pop that through the arm of the teddy bear and then through the button like so and we're going to go through a couple of times just to secure it so it's just like sewing a button on a normal item of clothing just pulling it through going down and securing it I'm going to do that a few times to secure the joints to the body. And exactly the same way, we're going to sew the other leg onto the teddy. So here we have our teddy all finished and ready to dress, made with a threaders teddy bear tip plate.